Okay, this is the new setup. I have two sensors. One is uh, controlling the blob, as we call it. Um, keeping it around 3 to 3.5 uh, millimeters um, with an orifice in the white chuck there. This is my orifice. Um, this is the blob. This is my orifice. The orifice has a hole of 1.75 millimeters. Then we go over the fan, the regular setup with the second uh, sensor, which is reading the actual size of the produced filament and controlling uh, the uh, feed rollers. I am then going to uh, wind up. As you can see on the screen, I've uh, been running for 3,390. We're going to be at 4,000 uh, millimeters so far. And right now the diameter is 178, 177. Um, the blob is 3.75. Um, the roller speed is uh, 5. Um, the extruder is running at just 4 RPMs, which kind of amazes me it's so slow, but... but uh, as you can see, it's been running. This is the longest, best run I've had, and I'm almost afraid to breathe on it. Here's a picture of, uh, I'm afraid of oh yeah, there's the uh, screen. You can see the maximum it's ever done is uh, 1.87 for just a second there. A couple of spikes to 1.85, um, or 1.86, I guess, is the highest it's been. The lowest it's been is about 1.64. Um, that's actually the best filament I've ever made. Um, normally I get peaks over 190, 194, sometimes into the 200 or 2.0 millimeter, which uh, is the maximum my uh, gear maker or my maker gear uh, M2 will handle. It then we'll plug the orifice in it. But this is the best filament I've ever made. Um, I'm really happy with this. If uh, if this will continue and do a full spool without messing up, um, I'd be real happy. Um, might be able to get it better playing with PIDs and stuff, but right now I'm just going to let it run for a while and see how how long it will do this. Um, I have had a lot of problems with this uh, the blob there, um, wanting to get too big. Took a while to come up with some PID numbers that work, but I uh, seem to be really close, if not perfect. Um, if anything needs to be adjusted, it might be the uh, second PIDs. Uh, this is working so good for the blob, I won't be touching those PID numbers. But you can get a look at my extruder. If you've seen my videos before, you've seen it already. But it is a standard layman, or Lyman, however he pronounces his last name. Sorry, Hugh, but... Uh, V5, everything is exactly uh, as he describes it, right down to the uh, exact same part number. I haven't modified, changed, substituted anything at all. It's all uh, what I would call original. Um, I did add a vibrator to the uh, basket. Um, not really sure it helps. Um, not really sure it hurts, but. Uh, this is working so good, I think I'm going to actually switch to blue. The hopper is almost empty. Um, when it does get, if it runs completely out, or gets, you know, down to where I can almost see the auger, I'm going to add blue to this next time, I think. I've been working with black just simply because uh, I have so much black colorant. I have like five pounds of it. Um, so, and the uh, sensors seem to see it really well, obviously, because it is so dark. I have had trouble sometimes with the sensors seeing natural. Otherwise, I'd probably be working with natural. But sometimes the light seems to go through it and messes up the, uh, the sensors. It could have been just bad luck. might not have anything to do with that. But that is uh, my reasoning behind making black so far. But like I say here in another old... I would say it's going to take it an hour to run that out maybe. Um, 
If it's still running smooth at that point, I am going to add uh, blue this time. So, but as you can see, once again, um, I'm at now I'm at uh, 4,600, 4,700 millimeter of extruded filament. It's telling me it's at 168. The blobs at 3.2. Rollers are at 5.15. Uh, extruder RPM is 5.54. Temperature is of course 185. I'm really happy with this. I mean, this is this is filament I can use. I mean, if I could do this every day, uh, zero zero more complaints with my V5. This is you know it it, it 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 may look like there's some variation there, but that's not enough. And as you can see, it's actually getting smaller as it's running. So maybe it's you know tuning itself in a little bit, but. Uh, I am totally excited. Ah, uh, the picture there in the background, I might say, that's uh, my laser show place down in, uh, at the Renaissance Festival in Holly, Michigan. It's a building we built. Lost Caverns of Camelot, just, but anyway, uh, we're actually thinking of bringing it home and uh, making a haunted house out of it. But uh, this is, uh, this is my filament. You can see there for the past, oh, thousand uh, millimeters it stayed between 167 and 182 which uh, boy I'm real excited with those numbers so but anyway that's where we're at with uh, two sensors uh, thank you very much to Philip um, he's been very kind and uh, he's uh, adjusted the uh, the code for me um, at my suggestions, uh oh, focus. Um, he even uh, supplied me with the, uh, the second uh, sensor. So, you know, great guy. Uh, thanks a lot, Bill. Bill, uh, this is. But uh, like I say, this is real happy with this, and uh, I hope this gives somebody some ideas of what I'm doing, what I'm trying. Oh, you can see here my, my cone on my uh, my cone on my uh, blob. We I doubled the height of that. Um, uh, we were having a lot of problems at one time. I now that I've got everything tuned in, that may not be necessary. I don't really know, but uh, I'm not going to change it. It's working. So everything else is standard. I did make a new bracket here that has a shelf for the. Uh, the uh, other sensor to set on. As you can see there, uh, there's a, a look at my uh, my profile die as I call it. It's just a Teflon disc. It's uh, six millimeters, six and a half millimeters about thick. It's, uh, I forget how many millimeters in diameter, 21 or something. I've got it listed somewhere on my notes somewhere um, on my maker or on one of the videos. But uh, basically the, uh, the blob uh, my guesstimate um, is that it's basically providing me with a steady supply of uh, plastic rather than the uh, up and down supply that the uh, extruder itself gives. Too much fluctuation I think in plastic flow coming out of the nozzle by having the blob there. That gives me a constant here to pull through the orifice. Um, you know, this is not a big new invention of mine, obviously, this is basically copying what uh, the big boys do. They, there are sim similar systems for, for large extruders. And once again, now we're at, we're almost at 6,000 millimeters, and uh, everything's running sweet. I'm really excited. Thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed the video. We did have a peak there just now, 187, but that's still well within my limits.